Hey, what's up, Gio? Hey, looking sharp. Why do I suddenly feel like paying a parking ticket I don't even have? <laughs> hey, kind of quiet around here if you're looking to make an arrest. Oh, no, I'm just here for my lunch break. You missed me? I'm sorry, did you say something? Cadet Heller. I like your blues. My uniform is nothing compared to yours. I'm sorry. Gio, can you make sure that nobody drowns in the pool for a few minutes? No one's in the pool at the moment. Even better. You, um, can I have a word? There you are! Hold on to your shorts. Have I got some exciting news for you? Okay, my friend Hal, who I work with in the city, he just told me that he lost a violinist for his string quartet that they use on Broadway soundtracks. Apparently, the guy was running to catch the L train, fell down the stairs, broke his arm in three places. Anyway, I was talking you up, and he is going to hold the spot for you. What do you say, huh? Huh? I mean, wait, do you hear that? Hear that? That is opportunity knocking. Are you ready for the bright lights? I really appreciate the opportunity. It it sounds amazing, but I've already promised Ava and Trina that I'd play at the gallery's new opening, and plus, you might remember, I've committed to playing at the PCU summer concert series. Of course I do. I'm the one who bought season tickets, remember? <laughs> but listen, I'm sure somebody at the PCU music department can find someone else in the department to cover for you. And I know that Trina and Ava wouldn't mind at all, but come on. This is professional work. I mean, it's Broadway, baby. Think of the exposure. And you know, once you're in, you're in. I suppose the department could find a replacement for me, but my scholarship offer at PCU, it, it's contingent on me being here to participate in the summer music festival. So you know what? We will talk to the, the head of the music department. We'll explain the whole situation. Come on. I mean, college is supposed to prepare you for the real world, right? Well, this is a real world professional opportunity being offered to you. It puts you on the road to stardom. And Gio, no one deserves that more than you do. Oh, I didn't expect you to wait. Well, I've got all the time in the world. Uh, OK. Uh, I really appreciate the offer to play on the album. But I don't see how I can take it. <sighs> Look, I just don't want you to miss out on a really incredible opportunity. But if this is not the right gig for you, then no pressure. It would be fantastic if I were still in the city, but I don't like going back on my commitments. Well, no Swirlo ever does. Just as important, maybe even more important, I really like living here. I like PCU. I, I like the music department, the, the musicians I'm playing with. I like my job here, the, the people I've met. Even the Quartermains? Especially the Quartermains. Even Tracy? Uh, I don't know her well, but she seems... Terrifying. Th oh, intimidating. I was going to say a little standoffish, but I, I can't complain. She's letting me stay at her house. Gio, my love, it is not up to Tracy whether you stay or do not stay at that house, because the house doesn't belong to her. It belongs to Monica. Right. Somebody gave it to her. Yes, Dr. Alan Quartermain. God rest his soul. He's a wonderful man. And he would have loved to have you stay in his house, just like Monica does. So, if Tracy, or should I say, when Tracy decides to bully you, I want you to be polite, but don't let her push you around. <laughs> 